Howdy y'all, I wanted to make a really quick video describing the different ways we can um, name a vector. Okay, so on this vector, you can call it vector A, B, and we typically put an arrow that shows that it's starting at point A and ending at point B, and the arrow tells us which direction it's going. We also can call this vector A. Often the books will have this in bold. It's just a little hard for me to write in bold, so I tend to put the little arrow on top. Um, we have different ways that we can um, label the, the components of this vector. So you'll notice that if I look at this, it has gone one, two, three units in the x direction and one, two, three, four units in the y direction. So in pre-cal, we would use these, we joked and called them pointhesis, three comma four is how we would name that vector. In IB, we tend to write it 3 over 4. I definitely prefer this because I find it easier to do the operations. Um, so you can have the stuff on the top works together and the stuff on the bottom, whereas here you have to kind of, it's a little trickier, but either way, and I tend to, I, I try and do pre-cal and pre-cal style, I try and do IB and IB style. The other thing is that we can do it in unit vector form. Um, so first of all, a unit vector just means it's a vector that has magnitude of one. Okay, so it could be this vector has gone just one unit in the x direction um, and then zero units in the y direction. So IB style, we'd write it this way, but we call this the vector I. Sometimes I put the hat on it and sometimes I don't. Um, we can also look at the vector when I've gone one unit in the, in the y direction. So it's gone zero in the x and one in the y, and we call this vector j. Okay, so now you'll notice that this vector, our vector a, b, has one, two, three little i vectors. So notice I could pick this up right here and put it one, two, three. And then I have, notice, one, two, three, four of this vector j. So we can describe this as being, well, you could start here at a, and you could do one, two, three i's plus one, two, three, four j's, and that would be, that the resultant would be this vector a, b. So what I should have said probably down here is that vector a, b in unit vector form would be three i plus four j. Okay, um, I definitely see unit vector form and IB style a lot with IB. Um, and pre-cal, I do see there are times when your pre-cal problems will be in unit vector form or in this style. So that's, use these as you prefer. Um, IB, get used to this. I like it better, and it's definitely something you'll see on the IB test. Um, we would see this direction of magnitude more in pre-cal, but let me talk about it real fast. Um, and that's telling us, well, what's the magnitude of this vector? And the notation for magnitude in, um, in IB, we'll say, we'll draw just one line. In pre-cal, so, and then pre-cal, the pre-cal books puts two lines. Sometimes I do, and sometimes I forget. I just get lazy. Um, but that basically means the same thing. Well, that tells us how long is that vector. Well, notice in this particular problem, you've got a... Um, this is a three, four, and so therefore this is a five, three, four, five triangle. Um, so the magnitude of vector A would be equal to five, or you could write it this way. Um, the direction, now, typically, um, there are times when it's not based off the unit circle, but in this, I tend to use the unit circle unless otherwise indicated. Um, and so we want to know, um, basically, I could, if I had the unit circle here, how big would this angle be? Okay, well notice that if this is theta, you've got um, uh, opposite over opposite over adjacent. So the direction on this one without grabbing a calculator is that it's, um, that it's in the direction, well, arctan uh, four over three. And since it's in quadrant one, we're great. We don't need to do anything. If it were in quadrants two or three, be aware that arctan is only going to give you answers in quadrant four. So you'd have to um, add or subtract pi um, or 180 degrees, depending on if you're in, in um, degrees or radians. Okay, so that's the different ways that we can describe
a vector.